What is going on guys, Greggles TV, the beta version, the second version has been pushed out to the Galaxy Note 9. I got it this morning and it's a 584 meg update and you can see right here, software update can include, but is not limited to device stability improvements, bug fixes, new and or enhanced features, further improvements to performance to get the best from your device. Please keep your device up to date. So basically it just kind of fixed Sorry about the reflection too on here because it's beating off the back of my screen. Um, it just fixed some things that were issues. So for instance, I know one of the issues before were uh, when you take out the S Pen and you would hit the plus sign, it wouldn't work. It would like just shut down. Now it opens up shortcuts and allows you to add a shortcut. So that's nice to see that that's been fixed. Um, people said they were getting issues in the dial pad in terms of it getting frozen. Mine never had that issue, um, so I can't say that it did. Another person said that their dial pad wasn't turning dark. Mine always has, and it still is, so I think that's also been fixed. Another person, uh, and me too actually, uh, said that the fingerprint sensor wasn't working on some of their banking apps. That now works as well. Um, so it looks like a lot of the issues that were caused by this before, um, seem to be fixed. I think the camera had an issue. Um, doesn't seem to have it now. I, I didn't have an issue before with it, but just jumping around the camera and taking photos of whatever um, seems to work perfectly fine. Go back in here. I'll take a photo, videos, all that stuff. Again, perfectly fine. And the update just keeps getting uh, the, the, the beta version of this just keeps getting better and better. And obviously, um, it did have some little finicky things that would happen in before this, you know, the first version, but the second version seems to have fixed all that. And it's really stable and it's been a delight to use. And I'm impressed every time I use it. Um, the battery life, it seems like, I guess the first couple of times I used it seemed a little wacky, but it's been settling into that three, three, three hours, 30 minutes, three hour, four hours, four hours, 30 minutes for me. And that's what I was getting beforehand. And I'm getting that again uh, with the uh, last few charges that I've done with this phone. Um, so if you have this phone, definitely check for the update. What you're gonna do is go into software update and then go to download and install and it'll check for the update and install. I didn't have an automatic notification. The only notification I got was from uh, the Samsung members app saying that I had, um, a, that they had pushed an update out but not that my specific phone had it yet. So just open up that Samsung members app and you can go in here and just look at beta notices and it'll give you any notices. You can see right here, second beta software update, uh, December 12th. And it walks you through telling you to give opinions. Error can occur during updates, so kindly back up important data. Beta software update only provides firmware over the air settings software. So it walks you through it. Bugs that have been fixed. It tells you freezer of dialer, like I mentioned earlier, when turning on and off night mode. Uh, we change the brightness from notification panel on brightness of your sometimes autofill function does not work when using Samsung Pass. Auto login to Samsung Pass is resolved. I currently don't use Samsung Pass um, because I don't always use a Samsung phone. So to me, it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass if it saves it. My passwords and things on the Samsung Pass, but not my other devices. Alarm does not work. So it fixed all these things. That's This is like incredible. Copy and pasting. It fixed a bunch of bugs. One of the weird wish issues I was having is when I would watch videos and I'll play. So when I would play a video and I'd swipe down, I wouldn't be able to do the screen brightness. And now it looks like that is there now. So that's great to see because it was, like I said, it wasn't there before. So excellent to them adding that back in there for us to be able to use. So that is the update. It's out now, guys. Download it if you can. The beta version of this software isn't out for everybody. It seems like it's only out for unlocked phones, at least here in America. Uh, but if you have it, let me know if you still notice any issues or if there's something you want me to try in here, I can always do another video and try it. But uh, otherwise, it seems like most of the stuff, the, at least the stuff I was using on a daily basis that was causing me issues has now been fixed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road. Peace.